Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Uh, this is the final Pimax Crystal software. Yes, it is finally here. And in this video, we're not going to look at the hardware, we're going to look at the software. How does the new Pimax software look like? Because, well, they have changed it up. It's not the Pi tool anymore, it is something new, the Pimax client. And we're going to check it out in this video, so absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video, because all this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you are excited about virtual reality, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. But now let's check out the software here. This is the new Pimax client. This is how it looks. And well, again, I've connected the crystal and everything worked. It works now. It's so nice. With this final hardware, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. So now let's check it out. On the left here we have yeah, several different parts of the software. There's the store and yeah, as the name implies, well, there is a store with um, weekly deals. You could buy some software, but well, yeah, there's not many things there, right? So I suppose you would normally still get your games from Steam VR, but well, they do have to start somewhere, right? Especially for um, the standalone version. Once the crystal works in standalone mode as well, you do want to have some games here, and yeah, this is where you will be able to get them. Good. So, more interesting, my assets, that's all the games that are on my PC here. So it automatically it automatically finds all the games and you can start them directly from here, which is nice. And also what is cool, so first of all, it really finds all the games. So here, this is from Viveport. I have a Viveport on this computer. Then most of the games, they come from Steam. So you, you, you can see Steam. And what's also cool, if you still have Rift games on this computer, I think, uh, let me check, I s here, then it will show Oculus, right? So, and yes, you can also play your Rift games, your Oculus Rift games, uh, without the need of any further software, it will work, which is kind of cool. So that are my assets. Okay, my account, I'm not going to show you, that it just will show you your account, your name, and you can change the password and stuff, your email address, yeah. What is my wallet? Let's check out my wallet. So if you have any, <laughs> interesting, CD keys, <coughs> sorry, um, if you have any um, game keys, you can redeem them here and then you could probably get a free game. I did not get any free keys. Pimax, why don't you send me some over so I can check out some of your games there. That would be good. So this is where you would redeem the games. Settings, okay, so this shows the current version of the software. I could check for updates. And my client is in the latest version, that is good. Language preference, okay, English, what can I choose here? I could choose Chinese and I could choose English. Okay, automatic start, yeah, why not? Let's let the software start automatically. Hide the taskbar when closing windows, announcement tips and download location, fine. Help, I can go to the official website. I can get technical support. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what happens if I click here. Uh-huh. Okay. I can directly submit a ticket here. Yeah, nice. That's good. I like that. Um, there's the forum as well, if you have problems. Feedback. I can, I can feedback them. Okay. Okay, I like that. So, yeah, it's actually very useful, this help thing. After sales, okay, if I, if I bought it from Pimax, what happens? Contact sales. Okay, I can send them an email. Okay, fair enough. Now, what probably interests you the most is here the crystal, right? So I've connected it and here, click on it. And here you will actually see what's going on. Okay, the screen is off now because I haven't actually used it. The controllers are connected. Well, base stations I don't really need, right? Everything is green, so that's nice. So guidance, it will show you like, uh, like a little setup process, how you would connect it. Well, I have already connected it and it was straightforward. 
Start Steam VR. If I click it, well, guess what happens? Steam VR is going to start. Good. Room settings. If I click this one here, it will um, guide me through a little kind of room setup where I can set like the middle of my play space and and the height of the yeah of the floor. It's it's very straightforward, straightforward and simple. Set pair. This is like if I want to unpair my controllers or if I want to pair them. They were already paired when, when they got here, so I don't have to do anything. It simply worked out of the box. Well done, Pimax. Restart headset. Okay, if I run into any problem, I can restart the headset or I can restart the service if something, if something is wrong with um, the software. And, well, device settings. Let's click on that. And this is where I can change something about the device. So that is, that, is, that is interesting. Let's go through this here. What can I change here in the software? So the refresh rate, I have it on 90 Hertz now, but I can change it to 120 Hertz, even though they say lab mode, but I could do that, which I think is good. Then the backlight here, they have a backlight slider. I like it. So zero backlight is off. It's too dark, I can tell you. And here, Backlight is at 100%. So if for some reason you want to um, turn the backlight down, you can do so. And actually, if if you will find like for for the local dimming, if, if it's too bright, well, you, you can simply change the backlight intensity here. So then you can dial it in to your liking. That is good. That is good. So... Mm, I was looking for the the area to turn off the local dimming and to turn it on, but they have not. It's not in the official uh, device setting menu. You have to use uh, a key code, like a keyboard code, to get there, and that code is Control Q. <laughs> Interesting, right? So if you click on, on Control Q in the device menu, you will get this hidden menu here. Let me just double check if I'm, yeah, you can see what I see, good. <laughs> yep, so in the hidden menu, you can choose the lenses. Yes, I'm using the 35 PPD glass lenses. And you can choose the local dimming. You can, you can uh, turn it off. You can use balanced, highlight or extreme, which I'm using now, very good. Motion compensation, you can, yeah, you can also set something about it here. I'm, I have not yet tried out the different things. We, we're just going through this together here, basically. And you can recenter. So control Q if you want to get to the hidden menu. So IPD adjustment, you could like set it up here. <laughs> Interesting. So if you know exactly your IPD, you could set it up here, let's say 63, and then click on settings. And then the motors, We'll just put the lenses exactly there. So, so for me, actually, it is more like a 64. And well, in the future, once they have activated the eye tracking, which is in here, you will have auto IPD adjustment and then automatically it will set everything. So you don't need to do anything. They still got IPD offset. If you want to manually change like the left or right eye, you can do so. Yeah, like, like probably um, yeah, probably your um, face is not perfectly um, symmetric, like mine probably is not. I'm, not, I'm not sure, I didn't have to do it. But here you can also like um, offset the horizontal IPD if you would need to change something on an eye by eye basis. <laughs> and also vertical you can do so, that's great. So if you don't have the perfect symmetric face, you can do something about it. Well, at least in virtual reality, no, <laughs> not in reality. Yeah, okay, and that's actually everything for a device. Let's check games. So there's a game list. If you want, you can uh, change the settings on a on a game by game setting. But uh, well, there's a common setting, so this will apply to all the games. So the render quality, if you want to have a higher render quality, you can set it up here. A uh, one should normally be fine, but if you if you have like a the latest and greatest, and if you want to even have a high quality, you could try to set this up, but no, not for me right now. Yeah, then here um, you have fixed 5 rendering. It's it's uh, 
on balance for me right now. Even on balance, I could see it in the home menu. I could see that, okay, in the, in the outer areas, they would render less, right? So probably I should go to minimum, but it's okay now. I keep it to balance right now. Here you can turn on smart smoothing, right? Where you can like uh, pretend to have to reach more um, FPS, right? By, yeah, it's predicting the uh, picture in the middle of two frames. So that's good. It's turned on. Hidden area mask. You can also still um, save some, save, uh, yeah, some uh, performance here. Compatible with Vive only game. If you have some games that don't work, Vive games, you can probably try out this. Then you can also change the colors, which is cool, I think, right? So you, you can change the contrast and you can change the brightness here for this. Um, and this is what it was when it arrived here. Minus four, minus four and one and one. Okay, yeah. So that was games. And then there's general. So the headset firmware, you can um, update it. It has already updated to the latest version here for my crystal, so that's good. You can update the controllers here. Everything looks pretty good, firmware version. And you can choose different homes. Pimax Home, it will just show you the Pimax Planet. Experience Home, you can also use the Pimax Experience where you can um, do some settings directly in VR, which is actually quite nice. Screen off time, 20 seconds, technical support. And here's some firmware logging options. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, so actually it is pretty straightforward, honestly speaking. Let me change what you see. So very straightforward here, the software for the Pimax Crystal. It is not too complicated. I believe that every would, everyone could yeah, get along with that software. And I'm glad again, that everything worked out of the box for me again, right? So I know that there were lots of bugs before that unfortunately my colleague Tatiana came across when she got her um, unit. But uh, well, since then they did update a lot and well, this works now for me. It simply works. What can I say? I I'm happy about it because I also had lots of problems with Pimax software before like 8KX and all the headsets that ever came here, they were bricked. <laughs> <laughs> by um, firmware updates but this this is working now yeah i hope you get a good idea now about the software do let me know in the comment section what else you want to know about the software or in general about the crystal i intend to give you lots of lots of videos about it so do let me know what you want to know about about the Pimax crystal in the comment section and leave a comment anyways for the algorithm and if you will want to chat with me or the mrtv community go to the mrtv discord server the link in the description of this video and well that's everything that i got for this video thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'm looking forward to see you in the next episode until then bye bye